Hello, everybody. It's Mayor Robert Sullivan, and I want to welcome you to the episode of Our Brockton, Our Brockton. And the title speaks for itself. It's Our Brockton. It's our community, our home. It's really my honor and privilege today to have Chief Brenda Perez from the Brockton Police Department as our guest. Chief Perez, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. So, so many people in Brockton know you. You went to Brockton Public Schools, graduated from Brockton High. They've just known you as a police officer, but a lot of folks are tuning in today and they're like, who is Chief Perez? So give some information, some background. So I was born and raised here. I'm a lifelong resident of Brockton. My parents came from Puerto Rico. Um, I'm a graduate of Brockton High. I have my master's degree from Curry College in uh, law enforcement, criminal justice, and I went to the military. I was in the military for 24 years, retiring at the rank of Master Sergeant. Well, thank you for your service to our nation. How many years, Brockton Police? 23. 23 years. Mm -hmm. You've seen a lot of changes. Yes. Um, I love the fact um, you told me the story that your mom and dad came here. For what purpose did they leave Puerto Rico to come here? So my parents came here, seasonal workers, to pick cranberries. In the cranberry box, yeah. I mean, it's it's, and that's what Brockton's always been, right? People coming here for the better life, you know. And your mom and dad, um, obviously, um, you know, you've made them proud. Um, and as mayor, I was able to name you the chief of the police department. I'm really, really thrilled that you're leading the department. So for those that don't know what a police chief does or how many people work for Brockton Police, you know, you have sworn officers, you have some civilians. Um, you haven't been the chief that long, chief, but, but what, what's, what has it been being the chief of the entire department known as the Brockton Police Department? So it's um, been exciting. Yeah, I'm honored. Thank you, Mayor. Oh, you're very welcome. Yes, I'm honored and uh, humbled, and I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to lead the men and women of the Brockton Police Department. We have 191 officers, sworn officers, and we have um, civilian staff to include 911 operators. Mm -hmm. And you know, our focus is quality of life issues. Our, you know, having a better Brockton. We want to have our streets clean. We want to be able to address issues. We want to address fireworks issues like the fireworks task force. So we want to address all those issues as they come up. And one thing, I mean, and, and kudos to you because you came up with this. This was really your, your brainchild, the task force, working with Chief Brian Ardelli of the fire department. Again, during the height of COVID last summer, not this past summer, fireworks were really a nuisance. They really were a quality of life issue. They were going off all hours of, of the night. Um, explain, because you said it in passing, what was the task force? Because it was a success this year. So it was a uh, collaborative effort between the fire department and the police department. And they actively went out on uh, dates that we know people celebrate and just look for active um, fireworks and also to educate people. If we know that there's a problem uh, at a certain street or as, at a certain house, so we would take those proactive steps to actually go out and talk to them and say, this is against the law and these, this is what will happen. So we wanted to take those, those proactive steps to actually educate our residents that this is not okay. To educate and inform, and, and another another really uh, habitual problem in Brockton and in Boston and pretty much all the cities in the Commonwealth and towns are ATV vehicles. Mm -hmm. Now, as police chief, you have the authority to do directed patrols, walking beats, bicycle police mm -hmm. uh, officers, motorcycle police officers. What are some of the things you're doing to try to curb that? Because there's so many people complaining about that. So we're doing, um, we are doing directed patrols to any areas that our residents are bring to our attention. We do have a traffic um, email that people can report to if there's a habitual uh, dirt bike issue or a traffic mm -hmm. issue where we will put director patrols to that area um, and there is no time frame, there's no limit. So, and we will reassess as time goes on to see if the problems have alleviated or if we need to do something different. And so the other thing that Brockton has and it had when you were a student up there and when I was a student. What building were you up there? Yellow. Okay, I was in the red. I won't hold it against you. But um, we, we, in the past, there used to be a police chief. It was chief um, uh, Gentile at the time for the school police. But it shifted a bit, right? So the school officers are special officers, right? And we put them forward and every year the city council have to approve them. But under your watch and under your leadership, um, we also have sworn Brockton police officer up there as well. Why do you think it's important to have you know a combination of Brockton P 
PD and school police up there. So it's a collaborative effort, right? At the end of the day, we want our students and our teachers to be safe. Mm -hmm. And so we need that communication and that open communication at all times to be able to make that happen. So we have not only school police officers assigned there, um, from the school department, but we also have our own um, sworn officers and a, two supervisors, actually. We have a sergeant and a lieutenant assigned there. We have a lot of students, right? And so we want them to be safe and we want our teachers to be safe. Yeah, I mean, Brockton High, I mean, we know it. It's the, one of the largest public high schools yeah. east of the Mississippi. You know, it's like a city in itself. Mm -hmm. So the other thing that's exciting, um, and I made uh, a declaration January 6th of 2020 when I sw what got sworn in the first time as mayor is, you know, we need to have a new public safety building. The building that you go to work every day and you've done it for decades is not conducive to modern police standards. It's also not friendly to the visitors and the residents that go there. So we're doing something on Warren Ave, right? From Highland Street to West Elm Street. What are your thoughts on the new public safety building? Well, I think I can safely say we, we at the police department are very excited and uh, looking forward to having the public safety building. I think it's gonna be a game changer for that area, but also for our daily operations. It's gonna improve the way I think that we do business on a daily basis, just from our residents being able to get uh, re um, reports right. or go to the lobby because our door is really in the rear of the building right now. So I think to a, it will improve drastically our daily operations, but also our communication mm -hmm. with fire, because we will all be in the same building with BEMA if there was any type of issue. So I think that um, I can't wait to get started. Yeah, no, and thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank Steve Hook, who's our Director of Brockton Emergency Management, BEMA. Mm -hmm. um, Ted Madero is our Acting yes. um, Director of IT. And then, of course, Brian Nardelli from the Fire Department. It's been great collaboration. For those that are listening to Chief Perez, it will have four departments in there. It's not just a police or a fire. It's, 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 it's a public safety building. IT is crucial in this modern day. The good thing is IT will be leaving Brockton High to be located right there in the heart of the public safety building, which frees up classroom space at Brockton High, which is better for the students and staff. Um, you know, one thing that you've done is you've always been willing to, to listen, right? So you have been an active participation in the planning of the public safety building. Uh, Chief Nadelli has as well, and it really is going to be a wonderful, wonderful building. City block, I mean, it's long overdue, almost $100 million. I want to thank the City Council for supporting it. We've borrowed the money at a low interest rate, so it's going to be really great. It's going to take a couple couple years of construction, but 2025 will be in there, which is great. Um, one thing that um, you have done is participating and sitting down with different organizations. Now, Hispanic Heritage Month is going on right now, right? And you know this, yes. um, the 15th of last month to the 15th of this month. And just yesterday, which was Sunday, we did first ever, uh, it was a Hispanic Heritage Cultural Parade. Mm -hmm. And when it was brought to my attention by Inez Figueroa from the Latin Women's Association, that was meeting one, meeting two, you were there, and you were there meeting three, four, five. What did you think about yesterday? I thought it was great. I think that uh, the show of support, the, uh, the people there, the enthusiasm was great. Um, and I think that we should have more of that, more more of that with the community, and it's just going to get bigger with time. So it will. It was, I mean, it was great. About 200 people, and it was a windy, windy, windy day. And you know, one thing, um, you know, one thing that I know about Brockton is is working together in collaboration. As you said, Chief, good things happen. And Absolutely. yesterday was a great example of, you know saying yes, yes, we can make this happen. It's done in a safe way. I want to thank Captain Mark Pacaro, Brockton Police Department, who also is the chair of the Traffic Commission. Mm -hmm. Streets were blocked off. There was less traffic on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. It was safe. It was family friendly. It was awesome. A lot of young kids. It was a lot great. Of kids, yeah. It, it was, was great. great to see that. Now, with the recent um, you know, weather, really bad impacts on Puerto Rico, um, any family members still on the island? Many. 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 Are they the okay? Majority, Are they every, okay? Yes. Everybody's okay. Some have lights. Some don't, but everybody's safe. Okay, thank God. So much like what we did when the earthquake hit Haiti last year, we are actively right now collecting supplies for Puerto Rico. So um, I just want to reach out to everybody right now. If you have uh, any means to, to donate, not monetary, we're looking for actual supplies, um, cases of water, uh, clothing. Um, the city is just compiling that to ship it over to Puerto Rico. We're also doing the same thing right now, working with the Red Cross for what just happened in Florida as well. So, um, Chief, any last thoughts at this time? And thank you, first of all, for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. I look forward to the future. Great. So I'm going to leave it on that. Um, again, this is.
25th episode of Our Brockton. It's been my honor and privilege to have Chief Brenda Perez of the Brockton Police Department. Uh, really uh, wonderful information. And I'll be seeing you again soon with a surprise guest at the next meeting. But thank you for tuning in. Be well, stay safe, and we truly are the City of Champions. Bye-bye. Yeah.